Today I'll show you how to use Elementor to embed any 3D interactive model on your site. It's super easy. We just have to go to this website, choose our free model from the huge library and embed it by pasting a small piece of code which I will add in the description below. Wanna try it out? Awesome. Then let me show you how I did it. So head to your WordPress dashboard, click pages, then add new and hit edit with Elementor. For the next steps, I'll show you how to get amazing animation assets using Sketchfab. First, head over to this website. From here, search for the model you want. For instance, I look for this one. Choose a free model for now. By going here, you can zoom, rotate, pan out and check the model you are selecting. Then you can go down and click download button. Select this format and yeah, don't forget to credit the creator. So just copy the credit text from here and paste it wherever you are using it. Okay, if you already have a 3D model ready or want to make one, you can do so using 3D design tools like Blender. Just make sure you export your design in the GLTF format and follow the next steps. Now let's upload this 3D model on our website. Unfortunately, there is no direct way to do this, but using a free tool, we can do it easily. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. On the WordPress dashboard, search for WP File Manager. This is the one we need. So let's install and activate it. Then go here and click File Manager. This opens a file explorer in our WordPress dashboard. Now we need to unzip and upload our 3D model file. So go to the file manager and find the WP content folder. From there, go to uploads, then go to the 2024 folder and upload your zip file here. Right click on the zip file and choose extract option. First extract the zip file into a new folder. After extraction, upload the textures folder here. Now this will unzip your file directly into the WordPress library. Once done, you'll see the file extracted and ready for use. Okay, our 3D model is uploaded. Now we need to make it live on our site. First, let's add a new container on our page. So I'll go here and click here. Then add an HTML widget from here like this. On the left, paste the code snippet, which I'll put in the description below. Now the frame is ready, but you won't see the 3D model just yet because we need to make a quick adjustment. Open your WordPress file manager in a new tab. Find the GLTF file, right click it and select get info. Now copy this URL, come back and in the code, just look for this line and paste it here. And voila, you should now see your 3D model live on your page. The page still needs some work. So let's change the description of our robot like this. And once done, it should look something like this. Awesome. Now let's go here and save our changes. To preview it, I'll click here. Now you can interact with the model by dragging it with your mouse like this which allows you to view it from all the angles. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.